Hey there! In this episode of KSP Easy Mods, we're going to be looking at a mod called Science Alert. Since gathering science is a critical activity in both science and career modes, this mod is an invaluable tool for maximizing the collection of available science by ensuring you know when a given science experiment is available. Now science in KSP is basically biome and altitude based, and if you're new to KSP, Biomes are geographical areas defined on each of the planets and moons. So what this means is, each of your science experiments can be run to collect science in multiple locations and or altitudes. The challenge that players face, especially beginners, is knowing when they have crossed over to another biome or altitude range, which allows them to run their experiments again and collect more science. This is where Science Alert comes in. No more guessing. No more running frustrating series of experiments just to see if new science is available. Science Alert will give you visual and audio cues of when science is available for the experiments you have on board. This makes the science grind to unlock parts in KSP a little more bearable. So let's do a quick CCAN install and then we'll have a look at Science Alert. Okay, let's fire up CCAN. Do our usual 20 second install. And let's look for Science Alert with the filter. And there it is right there. Let's have a quick look at the Relationships tab to see if there's any dependencies or conflicts noted. Recommendations. Nope, we're good to go. And we're set. So Science Alert is now installed and we're ready to launch the game. So let's go ahead and use our existing save game. Science Alert doesn't add any parts to the game, but we'll need to go into the VAB and throw a quick vessel together in order to demonstrate how it works. I've already prepared a ship for this demo, so I'll load it up now. And let's switch to Bob in the spirit of this episode since he's a scientist. Now we're ready to launch. So you might not have heard that due to the chatterer sounds playing, but there was a bubbling sound to indicate that experiments are available. You can also see by looking at the science alert flask icon up in the toolbar. Its animation is another cue telling you the same thing. When you click on the icon, you're presented with a list of available experiments. You can then click directly on these items on the list to run those experiments. And that's a great little feature because it's really nice not to have to spin and zoom the camera all around your ship just so you can find and right click each of your experiments. You'll also notice that clicking the experiment causes it to drop off the list. And once all the experiments are run, the animation on the toolbar icon also stops. These notifications will activate again when you've arrived at the next location where these experiments are available. Let's get Bob back on board and do a little field trip to the ocean to show this. Before we launch though, you just heard the science alert when Bob reboarded. And this is probably because it's reporting an EVA is available, even though we just performed one. This isn't a bug. The reason for this is when I did the previous EVA, Bob was holding on to the side of the command module, which the game considers to be flying over the surface. What Science Alert is telling us here is that there's still an available EVA report at this location on the ground. But since I don't have a ladder on the ship, let's just do our launch. Once we cross over from Kerbin Shores to the ocean, Science Alert will tell us we can take new experiment readings. And there you go. So let's release the parachute to avoid a tragedy with Bob. Now the last thing we should review is the settings menu. So right click the icon on the toolbar and let's have a look at these settings. Now I know this might look a little intimidating at first, but it's actually quite simple once you break it down. We're going to skip these items at the top and come back to them in a minute. For now, I wanted to focus on the bottom portion of the window where the slider bar is. This section contains each of the stock science experiments that are available. 
and for each one provides a common set of options. The enabled settings is the on-off switch which determines if Science Alert will notify you at all when this type of experiment is available. Animation on Discovery controls whether the toolbar icon animation plays, while Sound on Discovery controls whether the bubble sound effect plays. Finally, Stop Warp determines if Science Alert will drop you out of time acceleration when the experiment is available. The next set of options is for the filter which controls if and when Science Alert notifies you of available experiments. The default setting of Unresearched means that Science Alert will only notify you the first time the experiment is available in a particular location. Most experiments can be run multiple times in the same location, but they will return diminishing science each time until they are worthless. The Not Max setting, on the other hand, means the exact opposite. It tells Science Alert to continue to notify you of experiments until the experiment no longer holds any science value. The remaining two settings are simply intermediate values between those two extremes. As you can see, these settings are repeated for all of the experiments listed. So let's scroll back up to the top and look at the other alert threshold setting. This alert threshold is basically an override for the filter method settings we just discussed. It's disabled by default, which means the individual experiment settings apply. But if you pull the science amount slider to anything greater than zero, this threshold setting activates. Setting it back down to zero disables it again. Okay, back up to the global settings we skipped initially. These settings can be used to override the individual experiment settings and turn the stop warp function completely on or completely off. The same can be done for the bubble sound notification under global alert sound. Next let's have a look at the additional options, which you can see by clicking the button here. Under UI settings we have a global animation option for the toolbar icon, and under this there are three sub settings which control the information displayed in the experiment list when you click the Science Alert Toolbar button. We also have a Window Opacity setting slider, which I hope is self-explanatory. Next we have a couple third-party settings for integrating with additional KSP mods. And finally we have a Crude Vessel setting. The one option under this category is very useful because it allows for the surface sample notification that would typically only happen on EVA to occur while you are still on board. No more going on EVA, just to check if a surface sample experiment is available. Okay, let's close up the additional settings and look at the final element of the Science Alert Options menu. The profiles allow you to name and save your specific option settings to configuration files and then switch between them. To be honest, I've never used this feature, but I can see how it would be useful if you have several different save games on the go and maybe wanted a different Science Alert config for each one. Okay, so we've spent a bit of time walking through the options menu, but it's important to note that the default settings are good to go. You don't have to change any of them to have Science Alert dramatically improve your science gathering. Keep an eye on the beaker icon and listen for those bubbles. You'll be unlocking more parts in no time. So I'm going to wrap up here, guys. As you can see, Science Alert is a great mod. It's simple and focused in both its purpose and implementation, it's definitely one of the essential mods I use in my own playthroughs. So go grab Science Alert for your own game, and we'll see you in the next episode. Take care.